I'm looking for a place for us to do our song, and I'm thinking that one person who probably would not call Sheriff Lombardo to hassle us if we did a song in front of Oscars. Am I right, Oscar hey Newman? We're doing this Happy for Las birthday. Vegas. The autumn wind is a pirate, blustering in from sea. With a rollicking song, he sweeps along, swaggering boisterously. The autumn wind is a raider, pillaging just for fun. He'll knock you round and Great upside nation, down nation, and nation, laugh nation, when he's conquered and won. This is your president this is your speaking. Speaking. This is your speaking. This is your speaking. Vegas Raiders Just win, baby We are the Vegas Raiders Just win, baby Don't need no invitation We are that Raider Nation We rock that black and silver Oh, we can't stand there? Oh, man, okay Can we just finish up the show? I can't leave if you're still in the construction zone. Ah. Okay, where, where, where's the shot? Where's the construction zone? So if all this is inside the cones here. Yeah. The construction zone. Okay. What about right? the pavement over there? Is that the okay? Pavement is fine. Okay. I can't stop that. But this, if you slip and fall and get hurt, oh come then on. it's a big deal. I, I understand, man. I, the rules are the rules for me. I, I'm supposed to stop you and ask you to. Okay, no problem. We'll get. We'll move. Um, we can go on the pavement though, right? You can go on the pavement all you want. Like, okay, no problem, man. Thank you. You just can't be here. Hey everyone, Jedi Joy here from the Jedi Joy Show. It is Tuesday, April 7th, 2020. So we have not been down at the Raiders Stadium here since the shutdown. So Governor Sisolak shut down all essential business except for construction. So he allowed the Raiders Stadium to stay open, which... You know, people have opinions if that's a good or bad thing. Um, I personally think it's good that construction is still open. I think everything should be back open because I think this virus is being, you know, over exaggerated a bit. Like there's a virus, but the level that we're shutting down is quite extreme. And um, so, so we were talking to the workers and they are not even worried about the virus. So that's very interesting and so here we're over here and um, they have this landscaping they're doing here as you can see they got these fences these are gonna be coming down soon because look at they're really flimsy so this is the last fencing that they're gonna have up pretty soon we're gonna have this where you can probably walk on in a very short time but they gotta put the rest of the plants here they got the planters but they're gonna put the plants in there and they got these beautiful palm trees uh, planted and it looks amazing and then they have this huge black top with the concrete right in front of the new Allegiant Stadium sign so we hadn't been down here you know since uh, actually St. Patty's Day March 17th so they have a lot done we've been watching a bit online but we you know we just wanted to not really go out any more than we needed um, as Governor Sislek said we personally don't believe that this virus is as serious as everyone's taking it there is a flu virus but I think they're really blown it out of proportion about all these businesses closing um, but at least the Raiders Stadium does get to continue um, uh, you know some people feel that that's not fair since there was a worker that tested positive you know, different um, opinions on that. I personally think that everything should be opened back up. That's my personal stance on it and opinion. And, you know, the governor gets to decide, and that's just my opinion. You know, everyone's got them and they stink um, like armpits or assholes. But, anyways, um, but the stadium looks amazing. And so that's exciting news because we don't want. When we talk about that the workers are still working here, we don't want then this to be shut down as well. We just want it to be shown that obviously the virus is not as that serious if the governor thinks it's okay for the workers to all be together. And we talk to them. They feel safe. They feel fine working together. They work in close quarters. Uh, we got the footage. They work close together. They walk together. Um, everything's same business. This whole six feet apart is kind of nonsense that we're putting on people. And I think we need to end this shutdown. It's been long enough. This is day 21, I believe. And we got 23 days left. Let's let's cut it. Let's cut it short, Governor Sislek. If you're going to allow the stadium to continue, you got to let the casinos open back up. This is just crazy. But um, but 
look at this beautiful yeah so you guys uh, uh, we hadn't been down here and so they just got up the rest we had seen the other sign being installed on the other side on Dean Martin this is what's going to be Al Davis Way which uh, they're actually changing the road here the road is going to be there's like a road right in front we saw now you can't drive on it yet unless your stadium crew is still inside there but eventually that's going to be part of the regular road it's kind of merging together um, and then like I, I, I this is gonna be you know all sidewalk kind of with the planters in the middle so but it's gonna be a very wide area for people to walk um, I think it's gonna be great for probably people will do a lot of exercise out here you know like I've already seen a lot of people that are running around the stadium so a lot of outdoor exercise probably um, you know bicycling running and stuff if they allow it I think that's what's gonna happen I've already seen a lot of runners since they've put up a lot of these sidewalks uh, this the palm trees are gonna be amazing that just makes it so nice here and the crew is really like in good spirits they don't seem to be phased at all by this the ones Touchdown, touchdown, let's throw a bond down first down, let's throw a bond down every down, first we score, then we crown, having fun, look around, nobody loud as a Raider crowd, nobody proud as a Raider crowd, NFL, how you like me now, we gon' do this Vegas style, nothing but action, I'm Bo Jackson, hit the goal, run you over, goal line, jumping over, going crazy, lose your soul, lose your mind, in a black hole, here's the goal, Super Bowl, everybody here, get that goal, don't need no invitation, we are that we rock that black and silver We make them shake and shiver We make them reconsider And we still committed So if you want a piece of this You can come and get it Vegas Raiders Just win, baby We are the Vegas Raiders Just win, baby
you gave me indica. That's what's going on. I'm like, man, I got all the tired all of a sudden in good spirits they don't seem to be phased at all by this the ones that we talked to but we have talked to ones in the past that were a little bit worried about the virus so you know everyone has their different opinions but most people are just happy that they can be still working when all so many other people are out of work so that's the updates you can check us out um please subscribe to our youtube Jedi Rich Creative Producer. We're trying to get a thousand subscribers so we can start to do some live broadcasts and you get a couple more options and things when you um, get to a thousand subscribers. You like step up the next level. So, uh, please subscribe. We have that channel. We have the Naked Jedi on YouTube and um, Channel 6 Vegas and Jedi Joe's blog. We have a bunch of channels on there, but the main one would just be Jedi Rich Creative Producer. And then on Twitter, we're not doing as much on Twitter, but we're uh, Jedi Richcom, The Naked Jedi, and Jedi Joe's blog. And then please always check us out on JediRich.com. That's where we always are at. Um, and uh, the stadium updates, where you can find the stadium stuff, with, or the new Raider theme song, music samples, all kinds of fun stuff on there. So check it out, and uh, stay tuned for updates from the Jedi Joe Show. Thanks, guys. The other thing is, I want to give you a quick update on, we are, you know, we're going to go out to our giant stadium today, but we haven't done any updates since the 19th, or actually since the 17th, before the shutdown. We posted it on the 19th, but we haven't done any, primarily because it seems like everyone in Vegas has been totally shut down, and they're talking about, like, I mean, the topic of the day is, like, man, everything's shut down, and, and all this stuff, and it just seems weird to be be, be talking about the screaming progress going on at Al Giant Stadium, because there's a lot of things that are, that are going to be at play here. Number one, the stadium is funded by a stadium tax. What's going to happen to the stadium if the hotels have been shut down for 45 days? And then when they reopen, they're not going to be reopening all at once because they're going to phase it in because it's not going to be super busy this year. So what's going to happen to all that? And then what's going to happen to all those tickets that were sold to the scalpers here in Vegas? About 60% of the tickets were sold in, in to, to Las Vegas, Las Vegans, looking to resell them. Some of them might actually go to the games, but the majority of them who bought them from here are looking to resell them when the people come. That's what everyone does. Uh, the Garth Brooks was the same thing. And it just seems weird that they keep promoting the progress going on and all the sales that they're making at Al Giant Stadium when everything else is shutting down. It's like, Las, like some of the people here in Las Vegas live in an alternate reality. It's like they're so unaware of what the rest of the world is doing. Uh, I mean, anyway, so that's just my beef on that. So so we will go out there today. We'll give you a quick update. But quite honestly, we have very grave concerns about the about this project. The number one reason is is that they won't. They don't want to establish a delay for a couple reasons. The biggest reason is, number one, if they are delayed, then the contractors like Don Webb and those guys, they don't get their bonuses. So if it's delayed even one day, it, they don't get their, their, their bonuses. I don't know how much Don Webb's is, but I've heard these are in the millions. These are very substantial bonuses that they are promised. And on the other side of it, I think they get penalized if they're delayed. It costs them money. So, you can see how they have the impetus, the drive, if a person only cares about money if, uh, over everything else, an unscrupulous person might put the safety of others on the back burner in order to accomplish their goals of making money. Now, I am not one saying that the stadium should be shut down. I'm not one saying that the, anything should be shut down. I kind of think that, hey, there's a little bit of an overreaction. But that's my personal opinion, and I'm entitled to that. And you guys can join on that or not. But the fact is, the state can't have it both ways. You can't have it where it's, it's this is such a deadly virus that everyone is quarantined and these major casinos have to be shut down for 45 days and we basically destroyed the Vegas economy. Okay, for uh, for the next short term here, near term, any anything I can see, destroyed the Vegas economy. So we have to ask ourselves, 
anyways, uh, that's kind of it. My be, okay, so we destroyed the Bay of Vegas economy to shut this down for this deadly virus. But then when we discovered that people at the stadium have the virus, they let them keep on working, as if it's not really that deadly, or they don't care that the workers die. I mean, they have to take one side or the other. So either OSHA needs to say, wow, these guys don't have safety as a priority, or the virus isn't deadly and it's open up the casinos. But you can't have it both ways. So as long as the Al Giant Stadium is still going at full steam, and those guys are going for their bonuses, their million-dollar bonuses, which, by the way, when they figure out that the taxes aren't going to be able to fund the stadium, they don't get those million-dollar bonuses back, Clark County. Those guys will be long gone when that fund runs out because they've got coverage for 18 months in case the stadium tax doesn't pay their bills. So they've got some coverage there, but it doesn't cover it after that. What's going to go back and pay back that pool that they're going from, for example? So anyways, point is, is that there are some issues with the funding of the stadium since it is funded by the ticket sales and it's also funded by the stadium tax. Okay. The reason why it's an issue with the ticket sales is because you, they, they can't give any refunds. So if it's delayed and you bought a ticket, you're SOL. There are no refunds. So obviously all those people are very much wanting a stadium to be done on time because they will be out, you know, some of them $60,000, $75,000 for a pair of tickets. Who knows how many they bought? So they don't want to be stuck holding these things Um until 2021, they'll financially probably ruin a lot of these scalpers. So, anyways, that's the that's the beef there. Uh, the caffeine challenge. Uh, what else we got going on? Um, uh, I just the hysteria, guys. Just keep an eye on the hysteria because what I'm seeing right now is we're seeing. Uh, yeah, whatever. I'm just seeing people like freaking out. Like, there are some bloggers out there that are saying things like, uh, "Hey, they're joking around, but they're but they're showing people in other countries that 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 basically you know that don't have human rights, where they where they treat their prisoners with, with they, that don't follow the the COVID rule with with poles and it's just awful. And and they're retweeting that, saying that they're going to be bringing that to Bellagio. And it, I saw that and it just made me feel really like. Why, that's not something that we want to be sending a message we want to be sending out. That just is not a message we want to be sending out. And uh, I saw another blogger out here screaming about these weeklies, saying that apparently one of them, or he's heard people be getting thrown out against governor's orders, and that they're boarding up their stuff because these, these tenants won't leave, and blah, 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 and they're not paying. Okay, well... What that person doesn't know is that the weekly, <laughs> a weekly is, is is has two forms. When you are, when you are staying there short term, that is less than thirty days, you are a hotel guest. You have not established residency. You are not actually renting, a, uh, an apartment like the way uh, another renter would. You don't have renters' rights. So the people that he's talking about were people that the state had said, you've got to get out of the hotel. Those are the ones that were being forced out that wouldn't leave because they didn't want to pay. And they heard there was no evictions. And they paid for one week, but they were just a hotel guest. And those ones that were trying to get thrown out were the ones that were, you know, they had to go to extreme measures to get them out because they couldn't call the cops to evict them because there was no evictions going on. They couldn't get a court order. But they, they were tenants. They, they weren't tenants, excuse me. They weren't tenants yet because they hadn't been there the full duration of 30 days that established them the residency. So, so there's a lot of crazy talk going out. And then the other thing is another blogger, or the same, uh, another blogger is out there tweeting, she's, she's out there saying that, uh, trying to conjure up a lynch mob against a pastor for wanting to hold Easter Sunday. Well, you know what, to me, it's like, Look, those people have their own religion. If they want to get together on private property and come together and meet each other and do their thing, they have every right to, regardless of what Steve Sisolak says. Hey, man, they might catch the disease themselves. They might spread to... But hey, if that's the case, again, then shut down Al Giant Stadium. Don't go arresting pastors. Because now we're starting to turn into this thing where it's starting to look like Nazism. It's starting to look like this thing where, like, the Fuhrer says what's a, what's allowed. Al Giant Stadium is is okay, but church service is not. If any Christians are being caught out there practicing church service, we are going to arrest them. And that's what he said. 
That's what the governor said, and that's what the, that's what they're going to hire the Joe to do on this Sunday. Joe Lombardo have his undercovers go around looking for churches that are practicing Easter Sunday. Now, if I can't think of a of a, of a more military police state than that, wow. Further, I wanted to point out that as a blogger, if you have a substantial number of followers, you have a, how should we call it, a moral obligation to not spread hysteria, not bully others, and not conjure up mobs against judges, pastors, or other bloggers.